Yeah! Hey. What's going on, good people? Welcome to another episode of the 710 The Slickville Show. I am your host, Jay Brown, a.k.a. Mr. 710, and I am joined by my co-host in these streets. Hey. What's up, Nick? Nick, 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 Nick True, True 627, slide up in the DM if you're true. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Can That's it, how I do it. That'll make more sense. Can they slide in your DM? Yeah. Be great. Okay, yeah, let's, let's do that thing. Be great. Yeah. Slide in the, the yams. The yams. It's uh, at true627. T-R-U. At like, uh, T-R-U-627. It's like uh, T-R-U, like no limit in them. <laughs> Gangsta. Yeah, that ain't going to Gang, gang, gang. That's just not going to Really? Not gonna cooperate today. How's that happen? I don't know. I got all that stuff down, and this is the last one that won't go down. That's so odd. So player haters, player haterish. I guess anyway. I just have to jump on my own feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah you have to do that. I'm about to kicked. <laughs> all right, and so look, I want to thank everybody for tuning in. This this is an interactive show. So like, share, comment, call in. The phone number is four seven zero. Two five one four three four three. We have a dope show for you lined up today. Yes. If anybody that don't know, this is my three year anniversary show. Whoa. We've been out here in these streets for three whole years. At least I made it. I three. made it to the end. Hey, I'm glad. Hey, I'm glad you made it. Catching it at yeah. the end. But it's better late than never. Uh uh-uh. uh. Better. Yeah. You're not first, you last, Ricky Bobby. Better late than never. <laughs> I'm gonna still subscribe to that. Look, um, yeah, I want to real quick before I get to this this nonsense that happened this weekend. Um, <laughs> I got a good one. Dude. Oh my God! Praise God, God be the glory. I want yes. I want to thank everybody for watching via, via the Status Network app, Facebook, Instagram, Periscope, YouTube Live, Roku, and the Amazon Fire Stick via the Status Network app. Also. Yes. I want to thank you all for listening to the podcast on our radio, iTunes, Welcome. Spotify, or anywhere else you may listen to your podcast. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Mm. We greatly appreciate it. We do. All the listeners out there, those that are new to the podcast, thanks for subscribing. Hey, we out here. And listen, so on tonight's show, we're going to do since last week, mm. um, you know, it's always... It's always a monster for you on on those. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we gonna talk about this online dating and dating in Atlanta. We are gonna ask the question: When should I? And then the last one. But if we get out of here, if we get enough time. We gonna we gonna ask also ask the question: Do men have to love the woman more in order to make the relationship work? Ooh, sheesh, that's Yeesh. heavy. Hate to see it. That's heavy. That's some real weight right there. But That's some real. since last week, anything exciting happened to you since last week? <laughs> so you ever just like have a situation play out in front of you, and you're just like, "This, this can't be me. This can't be my life right now. This is oh, this is how we're handling people. Watch how you handle people. You know what I'm saying? You got to know your audience. If you don't know your audience. It could really end up in walking papers, <laughs> okay? So, went on a date with this guy. One date. One oh, date. One date. Okay. It was just one. He was 40 minutes late. 40. 40. I had already started start talking to men at the bar at this point. <laughs> this, this young uh, Caucasian man. He was like, you know, I, I, I love black women. That's all I date. And I was like, oh, he with the swirl. I see you. Mm. Okay, Justin Timberlake, I see what you got going on here. Ooh, we're we're the thick no. side of the game. We started talking about worst dates ever, and I said, "Yeah, this is about to be one of those." I said because uh, if it wasn't for this game being on and the fact that I actually had a beer, I mean, I probably would have left a long time ago. What game yeah. were you watching? Um, it was it was a college game. It was a Kentucky game. Oh, okay. And the guy walked up. He was like, "I'm here." Like. <laughs> You're late. What are you? What are you talking about? <laughs> like he said it like, <laughs> like, like the like, party. Yeah, like five minutes late. <laughs> yeah, I'm like you know you're forty minutes. <laughs> wow. Okay. So had an attitude the whole night. Not me. Him. Don't even know why he had an attitude. But I was like, eh, whatever. 
white man kept checking on me. He was like, are you okay? I was like, yeah, I'm great. He was like, all right, cool. I was like, stop talking to me, sir. Like, <laughs> so I ended up going to another place to just decompress. He was like, hey, I'm going to tag along. He was like, that's okay. And I was like, sure, not doing any tripping, you know? Oh. And to get to the place, you know, got just a nice little vibe and... Uh, and this girl, I'm, I'm not going to lie, I'm an admirer of the black woman's body. I'm I'm sorry. Black women, we are awesome. The booty was big. It was big in this red dress. And I was like, whoo, this other guy caught me looking. And I was like, sir, he said, man, that booty was fat, right? I said, yes. He ended up calling his friend on the phone, and uh, his friend was like, lies. So I went over to verify. And he was like, hey, come here real quick. So he puts me on the phone, and I was like, yeah, her booty was fat. I ain't going to lie. I said, but she's here with a, with a gentleman. Don't don't come up here. You know, basically, like, mm -hmm. it doesn't make sense. He comes up here anyway. Anyway, oh. So I tell the gentleman I was with, I was like, he was just like, what's, what was that? I said, oh, I was on the phone. I said, confirming the fat booty in that room over there in the karaoke room. <laughs> and he was like, uh, okay, well. I said, oh, there goes the guy that was just on the phone because he's a regular at the place. And didn't think nothing of it. Just kept on speaking on the date and, you know, just thinking everything was a vibe until he turned his chair to the gentleman and was staring at him like this. Dude, he didn't even know what was going on. He's looking at him. I'm looking at him like, why are you challenging this man? He's done nothing wrong but just come to the bar. Like, what is the matter with you? So he's staring at him. And he's, he's like, why do you keep staring at me? Like, what do I do? No, no, no. The no. black guy. Like, oh. we had went to a whole different establishment. And he pulls me aside and was just like, you know, I just didn't like the fact that you called somebody up here while we're on a date. And I said, are, are you serious? I didn't, I didn't call anybody. And he, he like made up a whole story in his head. I was like, yo, you're crazy. Oh, you gosh. just been let go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. time for the crazy boy. Oh. Too early in the game for that. I was like, oh, my God, you're crazy. And this is date one. Date? Okay. Yeah. See? Won't work out. We're going to ask about these. We're going to ask about these first dates. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, snap. Need All right. Need some milk. And so, we, you know, you, you, mentioned, you mentioned, you know, people dealing with you in a certain way and, and needing to know their audience. And yeah. Has anybody has anybody ever tried to sneak this you not knowing that you had that heat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, you know, your audience, sir. I'm about that life. And so, <laughs> Maybe educated, but don't try me. <laughs> so number one, just the oldest. Uh oh. He's back with the hot fire. Yeah, he tried it. Yikes. He tried. It. I'm in the. I'm upstairs in the bedroom, and I'm trying to get a, get a quick workout in before I get my day going. Mm -hmm. He asked me, he was like, has anybody ever called you fat, Mr. Jason? <laughs> Say what now? Oh, my God. <laughs> Not without the threat of getting their ass kicked. And then he turned around and he kind of, he looked and I was like, or... Oh, Catching that smoke with these jokes. Now, which one do you want? The smoke. <laughs> he put his head down and walked off, and I was just like, "I mean, I I figured you asked because you wanted some of this smoke. Like, I got jokes. I, just because I take care of you, don't mean you can't get this fight." Session one hundred and one. Oh, I've had I've had a roast session with the middle kid, number two. Oh, Lord. you know they that was, the lamest joke. That was probably. <laughs> It was probably highly inappropriate for me to have, but like he started, he started roasting my wife. So I was just like, oh, "Well, you gotta let that man have it." And I, I gave it to him, his mama, his long head brother. Oh, long time I was, I was just going in, boom. And so his brother was about to get it. I don't think he, I don't think he thought I was gonna respond in that way. Mm-hmm. But hey, man, don't don't do that. He petty, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. I already know that child's feelings was hurt before he even went to bed. I got, I got too much. I got too much. <laughs> See, I got. You know what the thing? You know what my problem is? I got too much stuff that I hadn't said to him. Material for days. Yeah, I hadn't. It's a whole lot of stuff I hadn't said to him, and I'm trying to be nice. Don't ask me nothing like that. <laughs> I remember one time I called my ex-boyfriend three months pregnant. Do you know he still holds on to it? 
He is as well as should. <laughs> First of all, no, never mind. You let a pregnant dude hit it? Uh, what? Huh? He what? He wasn't even pregnant at the time. Oh, he wasn't pregnant when he was hitting it. He was pregnant know, afterwards. Yeah, I was just like, yo, you look like you're three months pregnant. Like, he just happened to walk past the bed, and I was like, why you look three months pregnant? He was like, what? <laughs> Been in the gym since. <laughs> Mm-mm. It happened in 2011, look. baby. Poe, honey. Poe, little tank tank. I'm out. I'm out. Break up, fam. If she say that to you, she gonna leave you. I mean, she gonna say whatever. Like it ain't, it ain't gonna be. It just any, came off as a slip of the tongue. I ain't didn't no mean slip to. She <laughs> gonna say whatever. Uh, you just turned. You just tuned into uh, since last week, and she said a dude that she used to date was three months pregnant. Or at least it looked like it. And she lived to tell about it. <laughs> <laughs> Without a Ray Rice situation going on. But look. He don't want that smoke. <laughs> that's hilarious. What's the what's the worst like little sneak disc that you've ever gotten? Recently, somebody said I had little small hairy hands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's the where like I slick <laughs> came back like you really talking about my hands right now? My hands are little, but dang, like, they're not hairy. Like, they're they not, not hairy, so like, where did you come from? What the heck? You made me feel like I had those, uh, the, the, uh, what is his name? Hulk, like, Hulk hands or something. Was... Like, I said, what do, you, what do you want from me? I said, I'm a, I'm a lady. That's well, why. My hands I, are little. All y'all fellas that was thinking hands, about though, jumping in the hard. DM, that her hand is not hairy. All the dudes that were thinking about jumping in that DM. My hands are not hairy. They're not, little. Not hairy. Clearly. I don't know where you They are little, but not hairy. Relax. <laughs> what? What's he talking about? Look, like, I'm all so conscious down about my hands. I be sitting like this, like. I'm going to say, Bella E is tuning in from Play Yeah, Play, play, play the Carmen. Carmen. She said she was going to. She in here. She in there? Hey, yeah. girl. We out here in these streets. That's Shout something. Out Mexico. International. Mexico. Little Mexico. How long you been down there? I always get it photos. But look, all right. So, one of the one of the worst sneak discs I ever. I, I don't know if I. I don't know if I held on to it, but I. I do remember somebody telling me like, "Oh, you cute for a light skinned dude," or Ooh. I would never. I didn't even think light skinned men get that comment. I normally wouldn't date a light skinned dude, but you, I, I'm taking a chance on you, and I'm like, what? Well, what you mean, take a chance? <laughs> I mean. I guess I, I feel how you guys feel. I didn't tell the text like that, that was a thing though. I, I just know it's a good oh you're kinda yeah. cute for a dark skinned girl. First of all. <laughs> like this ain't in the debarge days, I so it's <laughs> not like we're, we're My mom got a went pass. to a debarge concert when she was younger. <laughs> she and this is ground, when yeah. light skinned Jones was getting played out. And <laughs> somebody was like, Shut up, you pretty mother and threw a Coca Cola bottle at him and they said boop. He said, I can't go on. I can't. I was mm-hmm. like, dang, not a Coca-Cola bottle, though. I said, geez, you could have took that man out. And I don't mean on a date. Like, what's no, going on? You had to call call them folks on that person. But that really hurt your feelings? I know it did for a second. It probably stung. Because I was just like, you know, at the time, you were like, what the hell that mean? What that mean? Yo, I was like, your mama look good for a dark skin dude, or whatever. Like, what you Anything talking about? Less of melanin is scandalous. And then, uh, experience is proven. I don't like when people be like, yo, well, back in the day, you I felt like it was a nice. sneak. I felt like it was a sneak this one when a chick would be like, you too nice. You know, I think that's still a concept. I feel like that's still a thing. Like, people just don't understand how to treat women anymore. I think women are so used to being disrespected that it's like, I think. Yeah, you you too nice. I you too nice. That makes you thirsty. Like, I okay, did. Right, <laughs> I did. I can I can change that real quick. We, we can we can go to the opposite end of the spectrum, which I did a. I probably did that for about a year. Mm. I went to the other end of the spectrum just to see. Yo. What spectrum? Pause. So the nice guy. <laughs> oh, okay. The nice guy, and then I was like, Jake, like to the total a hole. I thought you were playing Side the team. I uh, know what you uh, mean. I was like, Hell no. <laughs> okay. Hold on. You about to hold you. I, asked, <laughs> I just told you that. I'm trying to monitor how much I cuss today. Oh, you're monitoring. Got it. And you, uh, yeah, you're trying to, in trying to make this happen. 
<laughs> and then I don't like when people tell me I look like somebody that they know. You know, and then you look at the picture and then you look nothing like that person. Tush. <laughs> I sent you a picture. I sent you. A, I yeah, I sent, I sent you a picture. Oh shit! Man, and like, first of all, why is this now random picture in my phone? Because I don't look like this person. Now we're all looking crazy. Listen, when I tell you, this lady, this lady said you look like one of my cousins, and I was just like, I don't believe you. Negative, this, this bro. Nigga, it's this nigga. It's that nigga. It's that nigga. You, no. Can you see this dude? Y'all can't, y'all can't even see this person. <laughs> hey, I Are was you about to. Me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what she said. We immediately, we immediately stopped becoming friends. So this conversation just we, came to an end. You had just been let go. We ain't, <laughs> we ain't friends no more. Yeah, I was like, I said, I made a meme like that. Don't look like me. That baby don't look like me. Come on, man. That baby. Don't. Like, this was the... I was about to shave my beard off behind that. Like, come on. Nah, this ain't That's it. That's bad. Like, does this have glasses? Hmm? Huh? Does she have glasses on? She was a little old. She was a little older. I, I ain't going to say she seaweed. old because she be listening sometimes. That's that seaweed. <laughs> that twin, twin, twin. Yeah. I was like, that's so disrespectful. It's so disrespectful. I would have sent that picture back. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. Yo, you have failed to reach a subscriber that you were reaching out to. What are you doing? I'm like, you racist. Like, <laughs> we are, I don't like this, it here. I hate it here. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right, right, right. And then, also, last week, I don't know how many people watched the, um, <laughs> watched the Tyson Fury. Deontay I didn't Wilder watch it, fight. but jeez, man, the memes were undefeated. <laughs> they had that one with Martin when he did the boxing episode. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to fight no more. Yo, I mean, like, this is the wrong time to be out here losing fights in public. Black like, History Month. <laughs> How you lose a fight in Black History Month? Like, I, I mean, I watched the fight, and some, something just wasn't right with him, but at the same time, man, you, you, took, a, you took a massive L. Do you think it'll be a third fight? Yeah, they got a clause for that. I mean, he going to have to figure out his eardrum situation first. Eardrummers? <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, yo, you took this. I, you know what? And the thing about it, as the fight was going on, I was like, oh, he about to be a meme. All oh, day. They, oh, they, they <laughs> screenshot and everything. Like, they like, pause, bam, pause, bam. <laughs> Another one I saw, it said, hit him up style. You remember Blue Cat Trails? On? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, y'all got to relax. They had a, my wife was talking about a meme where they was like, he was looking like he was asking his friends to get the strap. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like I was oh, saying, yeah. no, man. You can't, yeah, that's that's the L that I was really, really hoping that he didn't take. I'm glad. A lot of people, did, they said they didn't bet on that actual fight because they already knew which way it was going to go. Yeah, oh. but not not it the not the beat down. It was that bad? Yeah, it was pretty bad. It was pretty bad. I hate to see it. Glad I didn't see it. You know, because boxing, I watched that fight, and when the fight went, after after Wilder got beat up, I was like, dang, I feel like I felt when Trump won. Like, this is ridiculous. And I don't even hate Tyson Fury. I just didn't want him to win in this situation. <laughs> like, Poor baby. This, I mean, he gave, he gave it the best he could. He gave it his best swing. This this one of them fights you got to watch with an uh, all-demographic crowd. Like, the crowd got to be one demographic. Why? Because boxing is based, uh, built on... Built on stereotypes. Look at this. Woo! Somebody said he looked like the emoji on, iPhone, on iPhones. The one with the little corgity face. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, who is this? Why? What is happening? Just look at this. And so, like, you can't, you can't watch that fight. If you watch that fight with somebody that's, that was white, but he was a little bit too happy that Tyson Fury won. <laughs> what y'all doing? Hold on, fam. Hey, it's still Black History Month, brother. <laughs> Relax. You too, you too excited, excited about this. <laughs> Everybody think they're going to be able to box everybody now. It's like how you used to go watch Mortal Kombat. Mm -hmm. You come out think you a whole karate kid. You, you, <laughs> you are not. <laughs> at, at all. Well, look, let's let's transition on over to uh, this online dating and dating in Atlanta. Man, it's, listen. It's a lot of questions that I have about <laughs> this. Hey, you know what? Mailman Moby, I need you to go ahead and call on in for your boy. 
if you don't mind. I'm it's, sad. It's old co-host. Oh, old hey. Co-host. Now, man, I'm about to come in and, and deliver some of this, d- deliver some of this Fire. mail. Yeah. Fire. Mm, yeah. I don't know what's happening. There we go. There we go. Yeah, so we can we. Yeah, some more of them, some more of them folks, huh? Make sure you actually call in, folks. Uh, it's four seven zero two five one four three four three. We want to hear your thoughts. So, so let me ask you this: yes. Is is online dating easier horrible. or harder than getting horrible. hollered at horrible. in person? Worse. Easily horrible. Easily horrible. Can't even say, my God. Why? Because men act like they don't have to see you ever in public. Like now, I know you're facing different types of styles that you wear, I'm going to see you in public. They just feel like their fingers can be exit plans for saying whatever they want to say online. I'm like, you do know your your lifestyle has to match what you just said, right? So what, I mean, <laughs> so they use, they just, they just try to have conversations as opposed yeah, to... Yeah, and then that's the other thing. They have conversations that lead nowhere. I'm just like, what are, what are we talking about right now? What's your favorite color? What not trying color? to not trying to actually get a chance to see no, you in person. They don't. I'm like, that's scary. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I said the only way a man gonna find me is if I'm in my house. That's kinda rapey. <laughs> kinda Going to the mailbox. <laughs> Going to my car. Cause I tell you, yeah, you online know. dating is terrible, bro. So so it's awful. I've tried Hinge, I've tried Bumble, I've tried POF. I look, I've tried it all, honey. Is there Hell, one? Is there drive. one that works better than the other one? Um, they say that. I mean, based off of like even with friends that have dated from online experiences, they've actually been in relationships. I ain't gonna lie, I have one solid relationship off of uh off of a date map. Mm-hmm. But uh. So what sites, what sites, uh, chat rooms do y'all use when y'all? Uh, I feel like Hinge is better. And that, and that, uh, online dating scene. I feel like you have some that are more professional than the other. There's like different calibers to them. Cause Tinder, they said it's young Tinder. I just put the, you know, like it lives to its expectation. Up, oh, we got a call. That's that's Mel Man Movie in the streets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See. Speak to us. Seventeen of Slickville. What up, Mel Man? What's going on with 710? What's happening? Hey, man. What's going, we, on? What's going on? What up, man? How are y'all doing up there? Amazingly blessed and getting rained in on. Good, man. We talking about this uh-huh. We talking about this online dating, Mo. Man, look. <laughs> See? <laughs> look, man. <laughs> Let me see. Make that the last option, right? Because these folks are down, dog. They ain't got no coof. Good. <laughs> I'm saying is the grass is not greener, it's turf. <laughs> no, no, it's not. It's not. It's definitely turf out here. So it's so what ghetto. Is, what's some of the problems you run into, Mo? <laughs> That's a true statement. I will say that. Um, but do you think it comes from them allowing you to lead and and just follow? Because some people actually don't know how to date. It's sad to say. Well, I, I think more so it comes from people, ladies and kids in the, on the online dating for men, we don't get a coach as much as y'all think we do. We don't get a coach like women do. So y'all, with online dating, it's like, I mean, y'all get hundreds of messages, hundreds of people talking about every single day. So, a guy, we have to come and try to be as original as we can. Mm-hmm. But us trying to be original is something you've already heard. Because, like I said, if you've heard it from... I don't think... 
I don't think it's you being original. I think it's more so you being genuine. We would like to see the genuine side of someone. And it's not like, how can how can I say this differently to stick out better than the next person? Just being genuine real then creates the vibe. You know what I'm saying? It sets the tone. How do you how do you separate how what's your filter process to get to the people that you actually speak to? I already know people be BS oh, can I curse? I'm sorry, I almost said it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know people be BSing. But it's just like you have to treat it just like you would with anyone approaching you naturally. It's like you either know somebody's about what they're talking about, if they have actual intent to get to know who you are and what you're about. It's just or you are you just looking for attention. Like we did this um, this this, uh, this vlog with my homegirl one time, and it was a TED Talk with just nothing but men, and it was at a bachelor party, and they just happened to be having a conversation. And my best friend said, he said, women hold the keys. However, the thing is, even though women hold the keys, we want to see how you're going to drive the car. Okay. So you driving the conversation is really going to set the tone. It's not the fact that we want to see, oh, what's he going to say? How's he going to say it? It's just how you're going to set the tone throughout the whole relationship is it always going to be I have to take the initiative I have to be proactive we have to be proactive every day and actually filtering things in and out but it's like when you have someone who's genuine and there's a vibe there yeah by all means you want to know what this person is about what they're like or do they actually want to know who you are or do they want to know what you are like sleep with you at the end of the day like sometimes I be feeling like I'm a walking bulldog. dog that's how I be getting approached and I, I don't know if it's genuine when people approach me people are presenting themselves it's like they're not matching up to the lifestyle that they're putting the facade on for if people can learn to still be genuine like my parents no lie my parents my mom and my stepfather they met on black planet black planet they are married and literally my sister will be 17 this year she's the product literally of their whole entire existence a black planet. I feel like they have get togethers and things still, but they met in a chat room Probably. called 30 something. And just to watch that play out, it's like you you can present someone with information. It's just up to them to sift through it to see, okay, what's at the bottom of it? Who is this person? You have to get past the prosthetics that pe people and aesthetics that they put in your face. It's like, well, what are you saying? Like, who, somebody said it earlier, they said, because that would determine how genuine we are with our intentions. It's all about your intent. Even if it's presented well, even though like it's almost like wrapping a Christmas present. Like everybody's not great at it, but you know something that's in it is gonna be of quality that you want it. And if it's of quality, you're gonna try and take your time to make sure it's presented right, right? Cause you're not gonna holler at somebody if they're not well put together, unless you desperate. I think one of the things that people, I think like dudes or people in general trying to figure out what it is that somebody else wants to see in order to get them to have said conversation, to even open up that chat box or to even respond back. And so let's just say he has a, like the type of pictures, if he got a picture just out in some grass or he's sitting, sitting in front of a, uh, Sitting in front of a car. I still don't yeah. do that. Yeah. Why do we do right. that? Why do I need to know that you have a vehicle? Like, what's happening right now? I mean, if he didn't. <laughs> like, like, why is this? <laughs> no, but my thing is, why is that always a, a like a picture on online sites? Like, I'm posted on my car. Like, what are you? What are you doing? I, I, either I like this car and I want to take a picture in front of it, or you need to know that I do have wheels and this is what it looks like. It's usually a pretty decent car, right? That or somebody else's, and that was that's the funny part. I've actually run into that situation. His car was in the shop. It, it wasn't even his car; he was posted up on. So I was like, "Wait, what 
What's happening? So many things. I mean, you got a lot of ladies that take pictures on people's boats. <laughs> but <it's... laughs> Guilty. <laughs> Guilty. For three. <laughs> but it's a quality picture, though. I ain't gonna lie. That picture was kind of bad, boy. <laughs> I got you. I got you. I'm gonna go ahead and post that on my, uh, my Insta story. <laughs> Just for verification purposes. So y'all know, uh, TRU627. <laughs> Shout out to you, girl. Yes. Yeah. And so, what should be the expiration date on uh, on pictures that you post on there? You know, females, this is just, this this is out to y'all. Please stop posting pictures from when it was like grainy, pixelated. You used to have this body. Stop fooling these men. Stop it. I'm tired. I'm tired of my single black male friends complaining that this girl showed up looking like she was Holly Berry on the picture, but really looked like Barry Gordy once he got there. Like, I'm tired. Stop it. <laughs> stop the filters. Stop the makeup. If it's overly packed. Say what? You don't think so? When I say that, I mean, if you still look like this picture, there's no time to it. Stop it. And now, if you know that you don't look nowhere close to this picture, if it's 10 years old, you know you don't look nowhere close to this picture. <laughs> See? Somebody just said you need to update your pics. See? Yeah, they, you have somebody to. said six months. Listen, if you knew, one thing one thing to look for, Moby, if you got if you see too many pictures, uh, like aerial shots, then, yeah. hey, man, you already know what the deal is. But no, it's is. not even that. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you. Because, boy, everybody always think I'm catfishing, but really the light hits you better as a black woman from this angle. It really does. You get all the glow. Come on, man. All this glow. I, I don't even engage in conversation, but I already got a headshot. That's what I That's what I heard. Everything the headshot, don't believe it. Don't. If they just got straight headshot, I don't even do it. Well, we're the, we're going to stop the okie doke as well. Men, stop freaking posting pictures where you're far away so you look taller when you're five six. I'm tired. Shut, 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 shut. I'm shut, tired. Shut, shut. Tired of it. Where I can't even wear heels properly. Now I have to sit here and alter my whole entire outfit because you wanted to play games on how tall you were. You don't like look, you don't like being taller then. Oh no, I do. They get clever now. Oh, they're standing next to walls that have nothing on it. <laughs> oh, definitely. Nah, they got slit. They slide down like this. And post the dick. Like, brother, you know you all are five too. Stop it. Do do you have a do you have a one size fit all question that you ask anybody that you chat with? A one size fits all? Uh, what are your wants? What are your wants over your needs? What are your wants over your needs? Mm-hmm. Moby, I was asking if she had like a, a like a universal question that she just asks anybody that she actually has a conversation with. But it really has to be an in depth conversation. That's mostly a woman thing. No, hey man, no, it's not. boy, I'm, listen. Now you moans well, made me stuck. You ain't never act. Look, listen. Let me tell you. Any any lady that you talk to from this point forward, you need to ask this one question for sure. Put this in your repertoire. Are you crazy? What? Well, see, the thing is, you can't do that one because crazy women ain't gonna admit they're crazy. We shine. Have you ever? <laughs> yeah. You are, you already know. What do you mean? Like yeah. when you say crazy, like are you talking like? Crazy, like how much do you like that Jasmine yeah, Sullivan song? Huh? You know she's crazy. If you say, well, what type of crazy you mean? Yeah. We're how many, how many times part. in a row can you listen to Jasmine Sullivan? Do you know I drove all the way from San Jose to Oakland listening to Lions, Tigers, and Bears and bust the windows out of your car on repeat? Fellas, if you slide in her DM and that's at your own discretion, I you know young. what it is. I was younger then. It was a great album, man. Those songs were kind of hitting. You know what it is. Uh, Sarita says she asked, why are you on this date nap and what led you to being single? Oh, man, it was it was her fault, man. She was crazy. 
substance questions um i think it's just like you're leading you know what i really i don't understand is why people don't read profiles anymore they ask the questions from things that are on the profile stuff be too long (laughs) (laughs) dudes don't even read text messages that come in like that i don't i don't even read long text messages either so there you go I uh, like, ooh, <laughs> it's a novel, baby. I'll come back. <laughs> it, takes, it takes away from the recording part. Because, see, if I, if I read everything on your page and you read, I read everything that I was going to ask you, mm-hmm. then it's like, okay, man, what am I going to ask her now? Because I read everything that, and they think, and I always say, this, this is one thing I've always said is pro women. If you're mm-hmm. going to be on the dating site, mm-hmm. don't put your blueprint or how you want to be treated on your page. Because all you're doing is setting a man up to treat you the way that you want, you say you want to be treated and not let him be his natural self. No, you not... You want him to be his natural self so that you can find out who he really is. You don't want to tell him how to treat you. Because a player will, a player will learn that. He'll learn what you got going on there and he'll treat you just like that. And then once he got done, once he got what he's going to get, now he's going to be himself. Jess was talking about this earlier, before I even got here. Definitely talked about that. Is you're, you're creating the element for him to actually play the role. If that's his right. intention, then he gonna do it anyway. Facts. But at least this just might take now, a little longer. This is just a cheat sheet. What are you talking about? Yeah, it's, it's good. <laughs> it's like it's gonna happen if that's the intention. Well, if you're dating a crazy person, at least you never get the same person every day. Maybe. <laughs> have, um, have you ever been? Have you ever been catfished? I have. I've been catfished. Like on the scale of one to ten, like how bad was it? Like, oh, it was a um, it was a white lady. He was he was no, he was definitely <laughs> five foot one. His hands were smaller than mine. Again, my hands are small, folks. And they're not hairy. And they're not hairy. <laughs> and I just I could I just couldn't. But he had a big head though. That child had a big old head. Mm, I just thought I it was from the angles of the picture. But I got goldfish. You got goldfish. What's a goldfish? Yeah, the face stuff, it was face fit, but the body didn't fit what I thought. <laughs> so I, I was saying gold, but then when I got there, I was like, oh, all right. Oh. This ain't what I thought it was going to be. Did you continue with the date? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm not a dirty person. I just, the, the, the thing I do is I continue to say oh. I like nothing is wrong. Mm-hmm. And then I slowly stop texting. <laughs> See, he the nicest person out of out of, out of my yeah, friends. Yeah, I, I, like I, by I, far, I, he's I, the I, nicest I, person. But I slowly, you know, the text won't be like, "Oh, hey, what's up? What you doing?" It'd be more like, "Hey, I'm like, hey." <laughs> <laughs> so he's still so he's still nice enough to receive it. Yeah, he's still nice enough to respond. Like he'll still nice enough to respond. Like he'll check and make sure that she got home that night. You know that I commend well, you for that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'll text you. So what's I'll the let fa- you know. What's the fastest you know left to date? Well, Chile, um, the fastest. Like, if you've been like, uh-uh, and it was just like, I'm out. I think it was like 10 minutes. Damn. Yeah, that's, that's, that's quick. I want to say it was like 10 minutes, because I said, oh, let me, I said, let me go to the restaurant real quick to wash my hands, and I never came back. No, you didn't. Yeah, I, listen. I promise you, we can go ahead and show this person where they at, but I ain't going to out them. They still Boy, follow that's, me. That's, that's very wrong. It's not. It's not. I wasn't feeling it. I was just like, I mean, at least you got great food choices at the table. <laughs> is is there a is there a particular amount of dates that you need to go on before you disable or expect the other person to disable their dating profile? Oh yeah. Mm. Yeah, there's well, an expiration well, on that. Not dates. It's more so more so once you become that title. Mm-hmm. No, not even just a title. I say once you see that there's a commitment. Is, that is conversation that, needs to be had. Is it before or after they hit it? Mm, I think that's a crazy person. That's a that's that's a. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not even a, a commitment. I mean, we can go out and eat every day, but if I don't have a title on it, then I'm still gonna be me. If I meet somebody, I'm 
somebody else on the side. Hey, I just met somebody else. I mean, we ain't got to, you know, we can commit to seeing each other, but until I, until I get the title, until she says, are we, are we an item? Are we together? Then, then that's when I say, okay, well, now I know I can't do that. But you just hanging out and you want to come over all the time and you want to go out to the uh, like that. That's like, hey, I'm still playing with you. So you keep that, you know, because we talked about that. And you remember, uh, you remember uh, Mississippi was like, I keep my profile open to make sure he got his, he just shut his profile down. I need down. to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't about to play me. This is how what they, you over here doing? <laughs> that's how they act on ChristianMingle.com. Yeah, they they got to make sure that their profile. I'm talking about some uh, Bible study. You ain't got Bible study right now, but. <laughs> You gotta make sure yeah, your life. Once, once, once the commitment, for me, once the commitment, once we decided we're gonna be together, then I both of us should be setting down our, our, our dating profile. Not we don't have our Facebook stuff, but our, our uh, you know, dating profile. We met on, on Black Planet, POL, any of that. Shout and out to yeah, Black Planet. Once we, once, <laughs> once we do it, we can cut it off. Yeah, but a conversation needs to be had, most definitely, for people. I feel that's the problem with me. I always end up in relationships that I didn't even ask for. Hold on. Never, never mind. How, how did this happen? Um, I don't know. It's just like, oh, oh, that's, oh, my bad. That's what we're doing. So they just claiming you. Yeah, it's like, what do you mean you're dating somebody else? Oh. <laughs> I, I'm sitting here, she's like, yeah, my bad. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, hey, let me know. When it comes to I try to find out to make sure, are we doing this or what are we doing? Yeah. Do you let women drive that conversation? Do I let them, what you mean? Drive I, ask women? that question. Like, how, I don't understand why men like clam up at a, a woman women? just asking. So what are we doing? I oh. I'm asking because I need to know if I need to tell you. It's on the side, like, what we doing, bro? Like, either the bus still driving, you on the bus, or you want to get off. Like, I don't... It depends on how I feel like that's time. what we're asking. We're not asking to be like, oh, we need to be together. No, I'm asking, so I need to know how to tell everybody else that is an employee here at Nikki Incorporated um, where they need to be heading for their severance. I just need to know. That's all we're asking for. I think I'm gonna be like, oh, uh, I, wait. So we we only been on like four dates. What you talking about? Oh no, about? that's that's crazy. I'm that's insane. Saying. Some women actually are like that though. Yeah. So, so what are we doing? Clutch. What are we what doing? doing? What, what are we doing? What? are we? Girl, it's four dates. Relax. You see, dudes mess up when they try to you know try to t- test those waters without all the equipment on, and then all of a sudden you're like, oh well. <laughs> <laughs> Belly up. <laughs> That that's that yeah that's, that's how that happened that's how that happened he was like you know what got you got lost in the sauce you you pissed while you was broken now y'all in a relationship yeah hey. you look me dead in my eye we together now like come on man can't do it been there didn't ask for it <laughs> and so all right with with the online dating and and dating these days you know we try to ask. Um, that question like when should I mm-hmm. like we run out of time so I, oh, how many dates and so because it's a lot of stuff that that's not in that's not in profiles it's a lot of stuff that may or may not get talked about on the front end so when is like when should somebody reveal that they got kids like is that a first date mm, I feel like you should oh, yeah, that's, that's first. definitely a first date I feel like cause if you're hiding your kids I can't trust you bro but when can they meet them oh no that's I, I don't meet children unless we are in a relationship. I'm sorry because I don't like being a person who can get attached to a kid or mm. they get attached to me or the idea of me being around and then all of a sudden we don't work out. Now I have to break up with the kid too. So yeah. I feel like that really... I mean, you really don't. Woo! <laughs> you know I mean, you could be on that Snoop Dogg and Baby Boy. Like, I see you built a little fort. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> it is true, but. I do too. <laughs> I, 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 I don't have a problem with it. It don't matter because when I'm in the thing with my son is when, uh, I mean, when he was here, I, I was, I had no problem introducing anybody as a friend. This is a friend, and that's it. He didn't, he didn't see me going in the room with 
know about closing doors or nothing like that. When they was when he was up or, or around, they we talked as friends. We we would sit around as friends, and that's what he know that I have no problem with that. But if it gets serious, that's the, I, that's when I told him. I, I said something. Like, if anybody I'm with them, and if anybody you meet are friends, if I ever get in a relationship, you will be the first to know. But other than that, everybody is just friends. Nobody is nobody no relationships or nothing like that. So I have no problem with it. Yeah, that's see, that's a good way to do it. See, that's it's not a bad way, but see somebody uh, somebody said a year over there uh, in her chat room, and you know, I think that's too long. It, it's it's a long time because it's a lot of time invested, like. What if after a year he don't necessarily like your kids? Or your kids or, don't or like your him. Your kids don't like him, and then Ooh, it's I like had, my mama had one boyfriend that used to call me Nick Nick. I hated him, and she knew right then that I was gonna be feisty. I said, Wait, "What up, Nick Nick?" Yeah, he was like Nick Nick. I'm like, "Yo, stop calling me that." Uh, <laughs> come on, man, I don't bro. like him. I was like, "Get rid of him, boy. <laughs> I don't like him." <laughs> so, when, what? How many dates? How many dates would be appropriate to like? Let's say you had a criminal history. Immediate. I mean, that first day? You need to tell me that. Because I need to know if some stuff going down and you got something going on in my car or I'm in the car with you, I'm, I am Susie. Started singing like Mariah, I promise. History, not like, I'm not current warrants going on. But oh, just okay. Like... That's part of history, too. That's <laughs> chronological <laughs> order. I need to know. <laughs> well, I think that unless, they, unless you're still living that life, I don't think it should be nothing that should be said until after later on. You actually get, you know, you have, you, you have, you have met each other and got to, because some people, everybody don't give everybody a second chance. Mm -hmm. if, if, if you meet a girl and you tell her, yeah, you know, I used to sell drugs and I had a few such stuff, that, as soon as you hear that, some women click off. It, it turns them all the way off and they just like, okay, you know what, this ain't for me. It's but true. If you let, some people have, they, they change their lives. so. They can get a chance to show who they really are, and then later in life, or later in, I, I would say maybe, I would say maybe a, a year, two years, then you can tell it. You know, this, you know, I had this, this happened in my life, or you, you don't really even have to break it up because it's not something that you're doing anymore. Well, well I, Moby, so I, I asked that because I asked that because let's just say if she sees some potential in you. And you working, you might be working like HVAC or something like that, or just just something something that you got to do on your own, as opposed to being able to get a, di a different level of job. And it's only because you have a criminal a criminal history. And she's like, well, why don't you do this? Why don't you do this? And then he had to come out and be like, well, I would, but. But that's that that's that level of honesty. Like y'all should be able to have that transparency from the jump. If if a man doesn't feel comfortable to say what he needs to say, then it's never going to be an authentic relationship. It's never going to be organic because then she'll never be able to feel like she can come to you and you're always going to be judging one another. So honestly, it does need to be said in the forefront to, for understanding purposes, but just like what we said, it's like people, some people don't give that second chance. Everybody like, ooh, once a criminal, always a criminal. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that's so judgmental because, hell, look at that dude that went to jail, uh, what was it, prison bay? And they took that one mug shot at him and he blew up and ended up becoming a whole model mm -hmm. like and all the people probably with his with his record in history it's just like you know they probably hated on him at one point and now they want to be with him you know what i'm saying so it's just like you just never know somebody else's come up they could actually do something with themselves right sarita says she couldn't she couldn't date a criminal because she's a lawyer yeah that's also another reason and that's a conflict of interest all right and so at what point do you let them know that you got bad habits like um, bad habits like listen I'm late to everything That's up front. I'm late to everything bad. I'm not that clean of a person I snore a little bit um, mm. and I play video games a lot stuff that stuff that could potentially get on your nerves you just listed everything that gets on my nerves I don't think that would go, go straight off of this because that's that's just something that you have to learn I mean because it's, it's Everybody's gonna have some kind of something that you are, you're not gonna like. I, I just listed her whole gambit and, and and probably a lot of it, a lot not maybe not everything, but I listed a chunk that if she found these things out, let's say six months, 
eight months in. But do you know that these are like things that you can potentially change or you just aren't willing to change it? If you're not willing to change it, then I got to go. Um, There are some people that need to be told, hey, be here at 7 o'clock because it started at 930. I know plenty of people, my mom. <laughs> right. There are people that got to get that last game of Madden in before they come to bed or, you know, they can't help but to, that they snore or they just not the cleanest I, I'm people. I'm sorry. I hate that. I, like, how you gonna tell me what I'm doing when I'm sleeping? I don't even know what I'm doing when I'm sleeping. You snore? I was told I do. But wow. I, don't <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing when I'm sleeping. <laughs> Why are you awake looking at me? You should be asleep. You work yeah. all the wrong things in life. Like, if I if I drink, I will snore it. Other than uh, that, I don't. But it's like... Mama, he, he was trying to... And she was... <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you gotta catch the train while it's moving. <laughs> you done missed the window. Listen, <laughs> you know? I just can't stand it. It's like, how you, how you gonna tell me when I'm asleep? I'm asleep. Leave me alone. But yeah, no. If you're dirty, I, I hate to see it. But mm -mm. those those people aren't gonna say their flaws up front. When someone said that in the chat, they said people aren't gonna always tell you their flaws up front. Well, check this out. What if you're saying off top? Because you 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 thinking right now, you saying that he's dirty. You know, you know, as in like maybe you don't clean up as good as his house, and you you immediately say, okay, that's not, I'm not with him. But what if that's his only flaw? What if he has everything else that you've always wanted as a man, but you didn't get a chance to see it because when he said he's dirty, you turned him all the way off. You get what I'm saying? No comment. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. Because see, that's something that you can is that you can kind of work with him with. No, on, I'm not like, your man. I'm not your maid because that's what it's going to end up turning into. It's going to be me constantly always picking it up. It's always going to be an argument. It's always going to be me saying, like, are you serious right now? Why is your stuff meeting me at the door? What are you, a two-year-old? So, so let me ask you this. No, he said if he didn't tell you. At what point oh, do, no. you, this, this, what point do you reveal your OCD? You just said you know him because when he says he's not clean or don't clean it as good. Well, not that good is different than just not cleaning it all. Okay. <laughs> but I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. It's just like you have to pick your vices. You really just have to pick your battles. I get it. I mean, I don't write everybody off, but I'm just like, okay, well, are you going to try to clean up? Like, no, I mean, you, you would think that if somebody's having company, they would clean up. You would think. No. But at some point... The people that's coming over to stop becoming company and they are regulars and people start to let their hair down and get a little lazy. And then you're like, well, this is what it is. More so than every time I come over here, your house is really clean and it smells good. You come over there and you come over there right at the, you get there right after he doodled or something like that. And you're like, oh my gosh, like, this, is what he, this, is amazing. this is what he's capable of. <laughs> or he just got done hooping like, you know. It's a difference when a dude let you smell him post hooping. That's oh. post hooping. If you if you man, can look, I make just, it through I that. used to hoop, so I'm already knowing all my ex boyfriends in high school, college, they all hoop. So it's just like, oh, so you smell plenty. Yeah, uh, I, I, hell, they smell me. What the heck, <laughs> we all hoop together. But it's just like you know, yeah. what? <laughs> <laughs> But I don't know. I just I, I just feel sometimes if if it's a true relationship and people know like this is like things I can't tolerate or this is something that is one of my flaws and it's something that meets in pair for two. It's like what's the art of compromise? Oh yeah, well, that's on there all stage nine thousand. Hey, so cause Parts I I know, <laughs> I know Moby. Moby said he he don't fart in front of people at all ever. Not right. even not even his family. At, at what point? At what point do you feel like it's all right? Just you know, just squeeze one out. I can't ever say that I have around anyone that I've dated. Never. No hell, my my have my ex boyfriend really like still somebody? doesn't think I use the restroom. <laughs> like, Never. So nope. you go with that struggle, like you be man, stomach be on turn, <laughs> like jumping. Your stomach be like. Mm -hmm. I be like, well, I'm hungry. <laughs> Don't hook six months. It's not healthy. I'm trying Don't to tell you. Don't hook that in. It's six months. Timing. Uh, yikes. 
Look, that's not healthy not to fart. You see, you know. I never farted around you, so be quiet. I feel like <laughs> I feel like everybody know or have an idea when it's gonna be bad. You know what foods mess with you in that way. Yeah. And sometimes like you can just have air, and then other times you can have that heat. And so it's a, <laughs> that heat. <laughs> you know, it's a different when you just got some air, and then when you got that heat. Everybody's saying six months up. Six months is when you go ahead and squeeze one out. Hey. Man, my mommy killing me, bro. <laughs> I love her though. Yeah. She know uh, how I love. Okay, so I only got. We probably got about one minute. Can at what point, you? ladies? At what point, if you, if this applies, when do you let him see your real hair? All the time. Your your real hair like all when, the time. When do you pull the lace front off and just be like, "Hey, you come to bed looking like uh, Viola Davis." <laughs> Man, it, all it's gonna take is one good Hennessy night. I guarantee you, and go in that room, sis, gonna be like, "I ain't got time for none of this." <laughs> <laughs> well, Natural. Moby, is that time that it be too soon that you feel like you know what? I can't believe she took her hair off this early. Never too soon. You better be helping take I, that brain pattern down, too. Man, I don't know, man. <laughs> really? <laughs> you know me, man. You, you pull the hair off, and I don't, I don't, man, I don't <laughs> Wow. Oh, it's, it's hard for me on that, on that one, because I, I, I don't matter. I like my woman with a nice, pretty hair. Like, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> well, I, don't, I don't know, man. I, I don't know. That's, that's a rough one for me. Cause I, mean, I, I like, I like hair. That's Everybody's cool. saying nah, brother. They saying nah. <laughs> <laughs> the hair got to come off, and you need to be greasing some scalp. Oh shit, I'm struggling right now. <laughs> hey, but look, hey, just don't have no that summer hat. That's all. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> How soon is too soon for you, her to meet your mom? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> she the bat cave. Uh, so never. I said, how soon is too soon to let a woman meet your mother? Probably with that good year and a half or so. <laughs> it, it, it just appears when she comes down because my mom, she thinks everybody's going to be your daughter-in-law. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to make sure. You got to make sure because when she starts asking them questions, you're going to be like, no, no, not this one. Not this yeah. one. She just for play. Everybody's going to that's, that's my daughter-in-law? Mom, no, no, no. <laughs> no. It was nice meeting you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, Moby, man. I don't bring them around family already here just so happen she come over or something like that but just to bring them and meet them like this and yeah. such and such nah I gotta make sure alright love well it's been amazing great conversation uh, I, I appreciate you calling in Mo Moby man man for sure y'all be easy out there y'all be safe appreciate we you we out here in these streets good people man we appreciate y'all watching and tuning in we thank you all for your comments we appreciate you calling in my man and uh listen I thank you all for celebrating with me this three-year anniversary show. We didn't even get to half the stuff that we had on the uh, docket for today. But uh, next week, next week, we're making 100 episodes. Next week will be 100 episodes. I'm going to try to get some, I'm going to try to have a special guest in here uh, for that. And so I just, I just be so busy these days. But I'm going to try to get somebody Get get a special guest in here for that. I'm not and, good uh, quality anymore. He's kicking me out. No, no, no. You still coming? I'm just joking. You still coming? I'm you, joking. You just adding one more so just you can joking. get your uh, really break in. All right, sounds good but, to me. Yeah, I appreciate everybody listening. Until next time, y'all be safe out in these streets. Be blessed, highly favored. I'm out. Deuce.